This is a similar type of question to the previous lesson where they where they say if and then you need to work out the quadrant but they ask these ones slightly differently but 40 degrees nonetheless that's in the first quadrant so we can just go draw ourselves a triangle because it's 40 degrees. They don't have to specify extra information like A is between this and this because we know that it's 40 so we know where that is and the, the trick with these, and if you are struggling with these at the end of this video, please go get the grade 11 course that I have on trigonometry. And so cos 40 is equal to k, but now the little trick we do is we write it as k over 1. Now we know from Sokotoa that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's k over 1. So the adjacent will be k, the hypotenuse will be 1, and then you just do Pythagoras for the last piece. So I'll call that last piece W, so we'll say W squared is equal to 1 squared minus K squared, and so W is equal to the square root of 1 minus K squared. Please, I've seen students do this, they say, oh, well, if we have this, then if we take the square root, it just becomes 1 minus K. Guys, that doesn't work mathematically. Um, yeah, it, there's a whole mathematical reason why, but that's not true. So you don't want to do that, you don't want to do that, you just want to write it like that. So this part over here is going to be 1 minus k squared. And if you're guilty of that, haha, I caught you. I know a lot of students get caught with that. So now we can get started. Well, cos 140. So remember, whenever an angle is larger than 90, you want to reduce it first. So you want to write it as either 180 minus something, 180 plus something, or 360 minus something. So 140 would be in this quadrant. So we could say that the cos of 140 is the same as the cos of 180 minus 40. And so we know that in that quadrant, it just becomes the cos of x, or in this case is 40, but cos is negative in that quadrant, so we'll put a little negative in the front. So we know now that cos of 140 is the same as the negative of cos 40, and we know that cos 40 is equal to k, so number 1's answer will just be negative k. The next one is the sin of 320. Now 320 is this quadrant, so that's th 320 is the same as 360 minus 40, so we can just say sin 40 now, but sin is negative in that quadrant, so we'll add a little negative in the front. So the sin of 40 we can just get from here, well we know that from Sokotoa sin is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's going to be the square root of 1 minus k squared over 1, and then there's a negative in the front. So number 2's answer will be negative 1 minus the root of 1 minus k squared over 1. The 1 is optional, doesn't really change anything. Just before starting number 3, I realized I'd asked the wrong question. It's not cos 110, it's cos of 100. So apologies to any of those who started the question early. So cos of 100 is the same as 180 minus 80, right? Because that's in that quadrant there. And so that just becomes cos 80 with a negative in the front because cos is negative in that quadrant. Now, here's where grade 12 comes in. So now we have an 80. Now how does, but in the triangle we only have a 40. So what do we do? Well, we know that cos of 80, now you have two options. You could either write it as 80 is the same as 40 plus 40, and then you would use this formula. Or you could write 80 as the following. You could say, sorry I'm writing it all the way up here, you could say cos 80 is the same as cos of 2 times 40. And so that's the equivalent of using this formula, cos 2a. And so that can become three different things. It can become cos squared of a minus sin squared of a. It could also become 2 cos squared of a minus 1. Always make sure you see where I'm getting this from on the formula sheet. Or, or it could become that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead with, I mean, you can choose whichever one you like. You could use this method, or you could use any one of these. I'm just going to use, I think the simplest one, this one's a little complex because you have to get cos A, cos B, sin A, sin B. It's going to take a bit long. Um, I'm just going to go with this one over here. So just to summarize that once more, what we said is that cos 80 is the same as 2 times 40, and then we said that the cos of 2 times anything well, we're using the double angle formula, so that's just going to be negative. 
and then I'm going to change the cos of 2 times 40 to 2 cos squared of 40 minus 1. Right, I'm using this formula, cos 2a is equal to 2 cos squared a minus 1. So notice the 40 is over there, and then it still ends up over there. There it is. But the nice thing now is we're getting cos 40, and 40 we do have in our triangle, whereas 80 we didn't. Okay, so that's negative, and then on the inside it's going to be 2 times the cos of 40. Well, cos of 40 is k, but then they want the cos 40 to be squared, so it's going to be k squared minus 1. I'm now going to uh, just move this over here so that's going to end up giving us negative 2k squared plus 1 if you multiply the minus into the bracket okay so just a summary we reduced the cos 100 and it gave us an 80 then 80 shouldn't let you panic because we know that 80 is just uh, double 40 and in grade 12 we know how to use double angle formulas whereas in grade 11 this question would not have been possible moving on to number four so our first step before even we just want to reduce that number. So we know that 280 is in this quadrant over here, and 280 is the same as 360 minus 80, so that just becomes sin 80, but sin is negative in that quadrant, so we put a negative in the front. And so here we have an 80 once again, but that shouldn't worry you because we know that the sin of 2 times any angle just becomes 2 times the sin of that angle times the cos of that angle. So in the in this scenario, that's going to end up becoming negative, sorry, 2 times sin of 40 times cos of 40. See, so this is 2a, but then each of them just become a, so they become half of that. So if this is 80, then these two must become 40. And sin 40, we did work out in somewhere in number 2, we managed to get a sin... Oh no, sin 40, we can just get from the diagram, sorry. So sin 40, we just said, was opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to equal to minus 2, because that minus 2 is already there. Then sin 40 is opposite over hypotenuse, which is just going to end up giving us that. I'm not going to say over 1, because that's just the same thing. And then cos 40 is just k. And so this is the answer for number... Four.